Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where we will talk about face care, hair care, foods we like to eat, fun purses, oh did I mention foods? Yeah! And things we love like pearls, outfits of the day, good books, share our successes, it's a great coffee clutch. We'll go into the kitchen sometimes too. So my heartfelt thanks to those of you joining. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today it's Tuesday's Tips and I just wanted to share with you a hair tip that I have been doing for about the past two weeks and it's worked out really good for me so I want to share it with you. It's for um, just revitalizing your dry hair. Sometimes when um, I wake up in the morning um, my hair might have some kinks in it or bends and I do sleep on a all silk pillow um, it really helps it's good for your face it is good for your hair but every now and again and three two one but every now and then I guess I get a little wild with my hair and it's just kind of uh, loses its shape so just to you know refresh it a bit what I've been doing is I've been using a blow dry spray now this particular one happens to be Kenra and it's a good blow dry spray it's not that I'm particularly partial to this it's just what I have and what I use but it actually is to be used on wet hair and um, a couple of weeks ago I did not want to wash my hair that particular morning um, because I had just washed it like the day before and it was kind of you know just lost its shape and I had to go out that day so I thought oh, I'm just gonna spray this all over my hair and blow it dry for a couple of minutes and it works great so that is my Tuesday tip and I will show you my new hair dryer my dry bar it's basically the same type of hair dryer as my Revlon but my Revlon um, just kind of took a bit of a dump um, a couple of my electrical um, appliances per se once we had um, that hurricane it affected some of the appliances, the microwave, I found my hair dryer, um, I was drying my hair one day and um, I could see some like heat um, escaping from it and it smelled bad and I thought okay something's wrong with this and um, I had one or two other little items that just aren't functioning like they used to. Um, I tried to go around and unplug things as much as I could but I guess uh, a couple of things I uh, left plugged in so anyways I was going to just repurchase another of the Revlon diffuser because I really like it but you know I was concerned because that particular hair dryer gets so so hot um, that I would you know just blow it dry sometimes off and on just to let it cool or I was using the cool setting which was fine but when my hair was still wet I wanted to dry it um, so I just kind of started looking around and I have a couple of other dry bar products that I really like so I went and checked their um, product out now this is quite a bit more expensive but um, it doesn't get as intensely hot as the Revlon and so I kind of felt like that's probably going to be better on my hair since uh, most of you know that I've had that issue with um, when I burned it with 
another um, styling tool that you know I talked about a long time ago and so since I have had to have some um, treatments done that are it's just like a gloss that I've had the hairdresser put on just to kind of tone it down but now it's pretty much grown out there's just a wee little bit left at the ends but my hair seems to be doing much better after drying it um, and it's because I think the heat isn't quite as intense on this, but it has a great amount of power. So it does, you know, get the job done quickly. And um, this does also have a cooling um, down button. And um, so that's great. Um, I like it. It's shaped a little bit different. It's not quite as broad, but it still leaves my hair shiny with a lot of volume, and uh, so I like it. But like I said, um, this is through Dry Bar. This one was quite a bit more expensive. Um, and the Revlon, I really liked that hair dryer. I used it for well over a year. Um, I was kind of sad that it sort of um, kind of blew, but... I just believe it ha it had to have been because of the um, power shortages that we were having during that time because like I said a couple of other things started to act funky and then you know when I could smell that uh, heat smell that's I just I'm not gonna put it on my hair I'm going to be extra cautious when it comes to my hair so anyways what I did this morning my hair was pretty crinkly up and a lot of times the ends will flip up and so I did what I've been doing for a couple of weeks and I just thought I'd share it with you because I think it's a great tip. I did use, this one happens to be Kenra Platinum a Blow Dry Spray and this is what you use on your wet hair. Well, I did not wet my hair. I just sprayed it everywhere and I combed it through. Now it felt weird it just felt kind of like uh oh is this gonna work for me um when i first sprayed it but then once i put the heat on it and blew it dry it just revitalized my hair it gave it volume and it was done just like that so i did it again today and i've been doing that about on my third day of not washing my hair just to give the shine, put a little bit more shine in it and give it a little bit more body. And that's all I did um, to my hair. I didn't use anything else and I just kind of just smoothed it out. So that is my tip um, for today, Tuesday. And I thought it would be fun to just come on and uh, just kind of share some of the things that I feel uh, just make life a little bit easier. And um, I wanted to share with you that uh, dry bar um, blow dryer. Um, I do think it's easier on the hair. And like I said, it is made so that it does add shine to your hair and it, you know, really cuts down on the frizz one actually uh, this is called the double shot blow dryer by dry bar and these are some of the benefits uh, it combines the hot hot air of blow dryer and the structure of a round brush to create smooth shiny blowouts with tons of volume in one step it's a faster blowout um, there are three temperature speed settings maximum airflow and an ergonomic design uh, that make blow drying a breeze for all hair types. It's good by frizz. It really does leave your hair nice and smooth, but so did the Revlon. If I'm going to talk about it, I'll just make the comparison. And the volume, it's a blend of nylon and tufted bristles that grip the hair to detangle and smooth the strands while the oval-shaped barrel provides added volume. And I noticed that the grip on this one seems to be much tighter so on the Revlon one it seems like it was smoother but you had to kind of tug at it a little bit more to um, get the hairs to adhere to the brush this one's a little bit um, tougher I guess and so it's a it's just very gently to where you are grabbing it and it automatically grips so but lots of shine lots of volume it's a great product 
and what really um, kind of sold me on it to go ahead and make the investment to purchase was the fact that um, it's not that intense heat. I know several of you have, you know, um, written in about the heat on the hair dryer, but I always, always use a heat protectant. And especially since I had that issue with um, that burning of my hair um, a year ago, um, I'm really, really cautious and careful. So that is my Tuesday tip. I plan on trying to share a tip with you every Tuesday. And uh, like I said, this is Kenra, but if you have any other blow dry, um, try it. See if it works. Just spritz it on your hair, comb it through. Don't worry about the way it feels at the time that you put it on your dry hair. Just re-blow dry your hair for a few minutes, uh, less than that, and reestablish the body back in your hair. So until my next video, be kind, be humble, and age gracefully. Bye!